Have you ever wondered about the civilizations that thrived long before the modern world as we know it? Today, we're setting our time machine back some five millennia to one of the world's oldest civilizations, the enigma that is the Indus Valley Civilization. Emerging around 3300 BCE, the Indus Valley Civilization is part of the ancient triumvirate, alongside Egypt and Mesopotamia, that laid the foundation for human advancement. Nestled in the basins of the Indus River, it spanned across what is now Pakistan and northwest India. This civilization, flourishing till about 1300 BCE, was a testament to human ingenuity and resilience, surviving for two millennia in the face of changing climates and landscapes. The civilization's remarkable city planning, intricate craftsmanship, and mysterious script continue to baffle and intrigue scholars today. Their story is one of innovation, endurance, and enigma. Join us as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of the Indus Valley Civilization. Imagine a world replete with advanced urban planning and intricate architectural designs, all in 3300 BCE. Picture a civilization that was not only surviving but thriving, developing and evolving into something truly remarkable. This was the early beginnings of the Indus Valley Civilization. In an age when survival was the primary concern for many societies around the world, the people of the Indus Valley were laying down the roots for their settlements. They were shaping the very landscape around them, creating a habitat that would ultimately evolve into mature urban centers. Their settlements were not just a haphazard collection of dwellings, no, they were meticulously planned, with clear demarcations for residential, commercial, and public spaces. Roads intersected at right angles creating a grid that made navigation simple and efficient. They had a sophisticated drainage system, which was a remarkable achievement, considering the time period. Two cities in particular bear testament to their architectural prowess, Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa. Mohenjo-Daro, meaning Mound of the Dead Men, was one of the largest settlements in the ancient Indus Valley civilization. It was a carefully planned city, with a complex water management system and multi-story brick houses. On the other hand, Harappa, another significant city, was known for its massive fortified citadel and residential buildings. The city's layout demonstrated an exceptional understanding of geometry and city planning. These cities were not just about infrastructure, though. They were vibrant, bustling centers of activity where trade, commerce, and cultural exchanges happened. The Indus Valley people were skilled artisans, and their craftsmanship was evident in the terracotta figures, seals, and pottery they produced. The fact that they achieved all this in an era that predates the invention of the wheel is a testament to their ingenuity and resilience. Their advanced urban planning and architectural designs were not just about aesthetics or functionality, they were a reflection of a society that was progressive and forward-thinking. These ancient people were indeed ahead of their time, but how did they manage their society? Their societal structure, economy, and culture were just as fascinating as their architectural prowess, and we'll delve deeper into these aspects in the next segment. A society's strength lies in its economic system. What do we know about the Indus Valley's economy? The economy of the Indus Valley civilization was remarkably advanced for its time, showing a level of sophistication that would be envied by many later societies. Their economic system was grounded in agriculture, but it was by no means limited to it. They cultivated a variety of crops, including wheat, barley, peas, and cotton, taking advantage of the fertile lands offered by the Indus River. But the economic prowess of the Indus Valley didn't stop at farming. They were also skilled craftsmen and traders. The region was rich in resources such as copper, bronze, and precious stones, which the inhabitants used to produce a wide range of goods. These goods were not just for local consumption, they were also traded far and wide, with evidence of Indus Valley products being found as far away as Mesopotamia. The people of the Indus Valley didn't only trade goods, they also traded ideas. They had a complex system of weights and measures which they used in their trade and commerce. This system was so precise and standardized that it was used throughout the civilization, indicating a level of economic integration and organization that was truly impressive. Craft production also played a significant role in the economy of the Indus Valley. Evidence of pottery, bead making, and metallurgy workshops suggests that craft production was not just a household activity, but also an organized industry. The quality and variety of the crafts produced indicate a high level of skill and creativity among the craftsmen. In the bustling cities and towns of the Indus Valley, 
every individual had a role to play in the economic system, from the farmers tending their crops to the traders negotiating deals, from the craftsmen honing their skills to the administrators overseeing the weights and measures, everyone contributed to the strength and stability of the society. Their advanced economic system was a testament to their innovative spirit, but what about their culture and beliefs? Unraveling the culture and beliefs of a lost civilization can be a daunting task. What secrets did the Indus Valley hold? Diving into the heart of the Indus Valley civilization, we are met with a rich tapestry of cultural and religious elements that provide glimpses into their unique worldview. The civilization was home to a sophisticated culture that fostered creativity, spirituality, and a deep reverence for nature. Central to this culture was the Great Bath of Mohenjo-Daro. This colossal structure, believed to be used for ritual bathing, reflects the high value the Indus Valley people placed on cleanliness and purification. The Great Bath's intricate design and architectural precision are testaments to their advanced understanding of water management and public sanitation. The Dancing Girl statue, another iconic artifact from the Indus civilization, offers us a rare look at their artistic sensibilities. This small bronze figure poised in a dynamic stance suggests a society that appreciated art, beauty, and perhaps even performance. Shrouded in more mystery is the Pashupati seal, an artifact bearing the image of a seated figure surrounded by animals. Some scholars interpret this as an early representation of Lord Shiva, a major deity in Hinduism. If this interpretation holds true, it could suggest a possible link between the religious beliefs of the Indus Valley people and later Hindu traditions. The Indus Valley people's belief in life after death is suggested by their burial customs. Graves often contained personal items, food, and even pottery, possibly intended for use in the afterlife. This practice points towards a culture that believed in an existence beyond mortality, a belief shared by many ancient civilizations. Their culture and beliefs, while still largely mysterious, paint a picture of a civilization that was deeply complex, spiritual, and ahead of its time. These cultural artifacts and practices offer us tantalizing glimpses into the Indus Valley civilization's unique perspective on life, death, and the divine. Despite their achievements, all civilizations eventually meet their end. What was the fate of the Indus Valley? Every civilization has its sunset, but the legacy of the Indus Valley continues to echo through the ages. The decline of the Indus Valley civilization is shrouded in mystery, a puzzle that has fascinated historians and archaeologists for centuries. Some theories suggest drastic climate change as a potential catalyst, a shift in the course of the monsoons, or a series of devastating floods, could have led to agricultural failures, forcing the people to abandon their cities. Others propose the theory of invasion. The arrival of the Aryans, a semi-nomadic tribe, could have disrupted the peaceful urban life of the Indus Valley. The dramatic shift in culture, language, and religious practices that followed could have quickened the civilization's demise. But, as with most historical mysteries, the truth probably lies somewhere in between, a complex interplay of environmental, social, and political factors. As the sun set on the Indus Valley civilization, their cities fell into ruin, their writing system forgotten, their culture absorbed into the incoming waves of new settlers. But that was not the end. The legacy of the Indus Valley has endured, subtly influencing the course of human history. Their intricate urban planning, with well-laid streets, efficient drainage systems, and well-planned housing, served as a blueprint for future civilizations. The concept of standardized weights and measures which they pioneered is a cornerstone of modern trade and commerce. Even their artistic expressions, their pottery, their seals, have provided invaluable insights into their way of life, their beliefs, and their worldview. The echoes of the Indus Valley civilization can be heard even today in the bustling streets of modern Indian and Pakistani cities, in the intricate designs of their traditional crafts, in the enduring practices of agriculture and trade. The Indus Valley civilization, a testament to human innovation and resilience, continues to inspire us even today. Their story is a reminder that even the forgotten past holds lessons for the present and the future.